One thing that, that we didn't have time to get into, and maybe we'll talk about it later when we uh, have a little panel, but that is, uh, you know, think about this. How many of us can get paid for walking off our job and uh, screaming about what our disappointment is in our wages? I know this, it, if I didn't show up for work, and a lot of these state workers have not shown up for work, they've left the classrooms, left their jobs, and they've said, you know, we want more money. It's one thing to do that on Saturday, but if you do that Monday through Friday when you're supposed to be teaching school, how many of us could get away with that? I just know that I couldn't. I'd get fired from Fox if I was standing out on 6th Avenue screaming and yelling for more money. I'll do that after the show, but I'm not going to do it right now. He's won an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Golden Globe Award. His latest movie is called The Grace Card. Acclaimed actor Louis Gossett Jr. joins us, and he shoots from the hip and from the lip. Ted Nugent talks about the Tea Party, the Constitution, and American exceptionalism. But next, the tax calculator. You're going to love this. Stay with us. The Grace Card. Thank you very much, Lewis. Thank you, sir. Well, he's a rocker. He's a hunter. He's a political activist. He's also an outspoken supporter of the Tea Party movement. I'm talking about the Nuge. Ted Nugent, he's next. He's a rocker, he's a hunter, and a political activist. He's also an outspoken supporter of the Tea Party and the host of the TV show Spirit of the Wild on the Outdoor Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the only Ted Nugent. How are you doing, Ted? Did you miss me? I missed you. God bless you, man. Hello, everybody. Happy duck season. <laughs> Speaking of duck season. Yes, and do you know those birds falling out of the sky? That was me and my Labrador. Is that what it was? <laughs> a number six shot. By the I recommend way, it. you know, I'm, we were going to do this in the second segment, but you've mentioned it. I'm going to bring it up because you and I went duck hunting last year. You certainly did. And you're a great shot, but you know what I was impressed with? Your dog, Of course Gonzo. you were. So, yeah, a, a man's worth is judged by how obedient and effective his dog is. Now, I got a black Labrador named Gonzo the Wonder Lab. A moment of silence for Gonzo. <laughs> This dog would fetch the neighbor's kid if I asked him to. Um, this, I love my dogs. You know, I'm 62 years clean and sober, and I had to stay clean and sober so I could train my damn dog. <laughs> well, it is an, it's an amazing retriever. We had a great, great time dog. out there. Yeah. I want you to get a little jealous, though, because uh, last yeah. week I went out a couple of days, limited out, first day, 35 minutes. Well, that's really cute, Governor. But and the second day, Ted, took, it was six of us. It took an hour and 10 minutes. But well, it, you know, it's a great time to celebrate that wildlife management in America is the envy of the world. We have more waterfowl than we've had in 100 years. We have more, duck, more deer, more elk, more black bear, more cougar in my freezer. Um, so this is a great <laughs> time to be a hunter. The, the hunting success in America is just... Uh, cause of celebration. We're going to come back to hunting because it's one of my favorite topics and, and I love to especially talk about it with you. But I, I want to mention this statement by Steny Hoyer. It's stunning. And we're going to put it on the screen. I want to read it because I think it's just amazing. He says, there are a whole lot of people in the Tea Party that I see in these polls who don't want any compromise. My presumption is they have very unhappy families. <laughs> so Ted, not that I'm going to have to beg you, but react to Cindy Hoyer's idea that all the Tea Party people, which includes people like you, come from unhappy families. Well, I'm a Tea Partier, and I'm so happy I could blow up right here on the Mike Huckabee Show. Uh, you've met my children. Yes, I have. Working hard, playing hard, athletic, Herculean work ethic, productive, solidly in the asset column. I've done a lot of Tea Party events. The Tea Party celebrants, the Tea Party activists, are the most productive, the most positive energy, the most American-driven people in the world in that they understand the experiment in self-government is not a spectator sport.
The reason we're in trouble today is because of a disconnect and an apathy that has allowed soulless bureaucrats to control our lives and to waste our tax dollars. The Tea Party is back to we the people going, hey, Mr. Employee, your employer is watching now and we want some accountability. For anyone to find fault with that is bizarro. Well, it's interesting to me, Ted, so many of the people in the Tea Party movement are small business owners sure. or maybe large business owners, their housewives, their Rock grandmothers. Rock business owners. They're all sorts of people, but they all also are seeing personally the impact of what government over taxation and over regulation is doing to their lives and to their children's future. Well, the truism of the great Ronald Reagan, uh, the government is not the solution, it's the problem. Uh, the experiment in self-government, this glorious American dream, is about individual freedoms, individual rights, individual entrepreneurialism, individual dreams, and you'll find a business that produces, that creates jobs, that creates taxes. Those are people that have 99 times out of 100 sacrificed and lost everything, but they keep trying. And whether it's the health care fiasco or the overregulation and the overtaxation with no accountability, it literally not just stifles entrepreneurialism, which is the source of job creation, but it crushes it. And I would ask, how did it ever get this bad? So once again, the Tea Party, we're really happy. We're happy that in America we can have a Tea Party. So the people who criticize the Tea Party, they're weird. It's not an assumption. This isn't any guesswork. This is, the, the facts are so ubiquitous, they're so universal, that it boggles my mind that guys are gonna claim that the Tea Party are unhappy. I'm having the best hunting season of my life. I'm a very, I had the greatest rock and roll tour of my life. When we come back, we're going to talk more with Ted about American exceptionalism, the Constitution, and we might even throw a couple of hunting stories and in guns. there as well. All that stuff. When we come back, stay with us. We are back with the ever so bashful Ted Nugent, great American who believes that America is an exceptional country. Tell me what you mean by exceptional. Well, any quality of life that mankind has experienced, I'm just going to guess 999 out of a thousand gestures or creations or inventions that brings quality of life came from America because we're free to reap the rewards of our efforts. I mean, hello, <laughs> did I really need to say that in 2011? <laughs> so, you know, just stop and think from my perspective. Um, Mike, I love my music. I know you love music. I know mm -hmm. you love my music. Wango yes, I do. Tango is his theme song. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I go that far, Ted, but I, I do love I'll go music. that far for you. Yes. <laughs> but stop and think. Name me a cool rock and roll song from France. There aren't any, Ted. <laughs> there are no great rock and roll songs from France. Certainly everybody knows that in the history of humankind, no society has ever had a higher standard of living a more generosity giving to people who truly are in need, no matter what catastrophe hits people around the planet, uh, the Americans are always the first to be there. And if you've spent time with U.S. military men and women like I do on a weekly basis, you realize that we're not all equal, that some people are just better than us, and you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, warriors, absolutely gifted, miraculous warriors who will fight and sacrifice for this freedom. That American GI is the manifestation of God's perfect human being, and uh, I, we all owe them everything, and, that, and they're fighting so we can be free. Well said. Well, we've talked about America. We've got Ted Nugent, and we've got a guitar. I can't think of anything better than to have I've you play. I've got a play guitar, and I'm going to use it. A song for America. Ted Nugent, uh, the Star Spangled Banner stand. Uh,
I'm <laughs> sorry.